This playthrough is rated M for Mature. Time to get me a nice cool drink of water. Greetings and salutations viewers while we're back here with another episode of Mars Warlogs. In the last episode, we got the mutants to help us out, we got Bob, the security guard, to help us out, and we also got Jay, the guy who got the info, to help us out. So now all we have to do is get some water and we can start setting the plan up to escape this place and start doing some of the side quests. So we have to head to the cistern, which they said no prisoners could get into, so there shouldn't be anyone on the other side, right? Well, that's a lie. But anyway, so yeah, this place is going to be filled with danger, so we're going to have to prepare ourselves, and this is even going to be even more... Well, actually, no, I guess it would be about the same danger as in the caves. Although in that p case, um, I still had innocence to help me out, but in this case, we're going to need uh, a bit more assistance. So let's grab those items there, get some scrap metal, all right. And then let's uh, grab uh, this item here. All right, and now there's some enemies here, so let's actually let's do something I've been holding off on for a while because I want to build up some equipment. Let's do upgrading. So you could, could do a couple up. We can do a couple of things with our crafting kit. So one, we can go into our items and go into our crafting pack here with X. We can craft injections, which cause serum, which is a bit of expensive. This is why you almost want to consider uh, uh, pulling serum from people. That sweet, sweet, gooey serum, so you can actually afford to buy health injector packs because uh, of how costly they are. Basically, they cost money. Straight money. So, yeah. We can also craft ammunition and nail gun ammo. Later on, we'll be able to craft other things. And, and uh, nail gun ammo, yeah, it costs hardware. So, um, and yeah, there's no discount for crafting one or five. It's just if you don't want to keep pressing the button multiple times. And finally, because we did the one one episode, uh, or one episode, a couple episodes ago, we helped that one guy create the explosives. Yeah, I remember his name. It's P something. Anyway, um... He, uh, we can now make um, handmade grenades and explosive traps. They're, they do a lot of damage, but they're kind of pricey because chemical components are kind of rare, and they cost a lot to buy them, so keep that in mind. But also, with the ability to craft, we can also upgrade as well. So since I've got the mole bone here, um, I think I'll use the mole bone. I probably won't use any serum to buy any upgrade equipment, so let's go and upgrade it. So you press X, we can do, well, most items will have two spots you can upgrade, tip and handle in this case. So you can choose different items and different uh, heads will have different uh, results. Physical, some will have physical damage, some will have physical damage reduction, some will have critical hit chance, some will have wounding chances. So in my case, I want to have wounding because wounding is really helpful, especially if you're fighting multiple people and one of them will it'll be easy to kill someone who's wounded. Um, so I want to do that. It's a bit pricey with, with the bone because uh, bone's another thing you don't get a ton of, at least at this point of the game, but I want the physical damage as well as the wounding chance. So let's do that. And then tip. Uh, let's see. I mean, critical hit would be really good. Also, damage reduction. But I want to save my scrap metal. So uh, let's go ahead and just do. Uh, and leather is another thing. It's kind of hard to get because otherwise the this one wouldn't be bad. But let's do the one with physical damage reduction since so I keep getting hit all the time. All right. Let's now let's also upgrade our outfit. Uh, we've also already got some leather on. We can change it to reinforced leather to improve our damage reduction a bit, or we could add metal which reduces electrical damage reduction. That doesn't make sense. Wouldn't electrical damage conduct electricity because it's metal? Anyway, but at this point of the game, um, we don't fight a lot of things, with, or at least at this chapter, I think there's like maybe one or two people that have like an electrical type weapon, if I recall, but it's not as big of a deal, so I don't have to worry about it. So right now, I'd rather just have the reinforced leather. And also, if you change out a previous upgrade to a new upgrade, there is a chance to retrieve the components a 50% chance. So this is another chance if you want to save scum, this would be the way, the way to do it to save your cloths. But I'm not that worried about it, but that's what you could do if you want to, so. Nope, all right. 50 chance, didn't get it. Hmm. And a surprise uh, story of my life. But anyway, let's, uh, and then we've got a secondary section so we can either uh, upgrade our physical redemption even more by the cost of leather or do metal this time. Mm. Let's see. Nah, I'd rather have full physical damage reduction because of me being on extreme mode. So I'll have to just take that as is. So, all right. So there's quite a few enemies here. Prisoners. Um, I don't know why they're here because, you know, uh, didn't we have to get a key to get over here and all this other stuff? But anyway, I'm going to purposely pull this guy because uh, um, Innocence, depending on how things go, he might accidentally pull other enemies towards, like, other guards because that's happened before. Not that happened in this before, I just I played before. But I got lucky and just immediately wrecked this guy because I wounded him. And it was just one person, so. Now we gained a level as well. Alright. No items. Boo. Alright, anyway. Let's gain a level. 
So feet wise, I think I'm trying to. I think I might go for Snooper next, just because it'll tr prove my chance to loot enemies and stuff like that. So that way I can make more equipment later. Um, but you also have apprentice handiwork if you want to prove your craftable items, stuff that you wouldn't get outside of the normal storyline and everything like that. There's also the one that allows you to recycle stuff. That one will also be a solid one for old equipment. I'll probably end up just recycling it by the end of the game instead of selling it for serum, but we'll see how things go. Um, but anyway, I'm going to save my points because obviously I can't spend anything right now. So, All right, let's see. We are close to expert mode on combat, so I might stick with that. Let's see how... Uh, Let's see. Yeah, I need an expert to do the... Oh, yeah, that does do uh, extra damage if I can get that. So that wouldn't be a bad idea to get... If I'm starting to wound people, get Renegade up. But I haven't been putting as many points into it. Hmm. That wouldn't be... Well, that might be worth... Let's see. Oh, yeah, that's the one with... Hmm. I might upgrade my evasion. Let me see if I want anything here. I mean, yeah, the stealth increase and nail gun damage. Let's see. Hmm. Art of Blinding wouldn't be a bad one. Uh, let's go with combat for now, but... Or let's go with the evasion stuff for now, so let's... Upgrade that to try and get our critical hit chances up by evading, so... Alright, let's pull... And I'm not going to be able to stealth these guys, because these guys are facing each other, so I'm just going to... I just gotta pull them. I uh, hopefully that other guy. How do you get alerted? He's really far away. Well, that doesn't matter. All right, let's. Uh... Ah, dude. Okay, one dude at least. Oh. Right. Ah, man. Whoa. Okay, I got a bit on. I should have saved after that. I got. I was actually one to guard, and I didn't guard. So, whoops. All right. Well, yeah, I should have saved it before encountering people. That my bad. All right, let's try this again. I was doing pretty good there at the beginning, but yeah. In extreme mode, you just you can't you can't like just just like play around like that. You really have to. Uh, whoops. You really have to. Uh... Yeah, we got a cloth this time. All right. Not, I wasn't trying to save scum for this. I, I really wasn't. So Let's do the wounding one again. And the physical damage reduction. Okay. Let's try that again. Let's pull this guy. Come on. Now it's going to be harder to fight this guy, isn't it? So. I'll leave Lloyd on, uh, or I'll leave uh, Innocence on, I don't know what I call him, Lloyd there for a second. I got some cloth this time. All right, saves coming, or dying, dying benefited me to an extent, huh? That was great that. Okay. Give it a few seconds to heal, and then we'll tackle those one guys again all right one more time with style i guess he's just part of that group because he technically shouldn't be he shouldn't be alerted from that far away but oh man got lucky this time even though my wounding chances aren't that <laughs> oh, man i was wounding him multiple times oh i actually didn't mean to I meant to sand this guy because he's actually doesn't have a goggles on, so. Alright. There we go. Yeah, these guys aren't that tough. I just got a little unlucky. That's I I don't know why I didn't immediately sand them at the beginning. I, it was one of those cases where you're if you're not paying attention, it just kind of you kind of forget certain certain things, so. Right, so. Grab their stuff from them. Yeah, new, normally I'd stealth guys, but the the way that they're all facing kind of makes that not impossible, just annoying to deal with. So, because sand really works really works wonders against non non human or uh, against human opponents that aren't wearing like goggles or headsets. Usually, you can tell if you look at an opponent if they've got something covering your eyes. Sand won't work. 
but if they're just straight up out in the open, like a lot of these guys, I think, don't have any protective facial gear, so I can just, you know, go after them if I want. Would I be able to stealth any of these guys? I don't think I should be able to, because most of them are facing towards me. Maybe, yeah, I'll probably, yeah, I got, there's no way. Uh, oh, we could just. Like, well, you just have a new guard. Okay, let's... Oops. Oh, come on. There we go. Yeah, throwing sand is useful, at least for a while. Later on in the game, though, it doesn't, it doesn't get as useful, mainly because um, more people have hit face coverings, and it is a free ability, so. Right, there we go. Oh yeah, this guy has a face covering, so I can't, I can't actually. Ah, oh, wounded. Nice. No blocking for you. Ha ha. Unfortunately, they fell on top of each other, so hopefully I can actually search them. I'm getting nice, nicely lucky. Well, okay. I say that, and then I don't. Uh, you. Okay. All right. Ah. There you go. There you go. Messing up my luck. Okay. I can't get over there. Yeah, I don't remember where every single uh, grabbable thing is, so that's why sometimes it looks like we get broken lighting and cloth. Right, that's the. I think that's a new new item, yeah. I'm trying to remember how much. I don't think it was actually. I think it was weaker than because on the mole bone. I think yeah, it was it was at originally at twelve, so it wouldn't have been any better. So, so yeah, as you can see there, so yeah, no worries. For a second, I was trying to remember. I thought it was weaker than the mole, than the mole bone. Um, that's why I wasn't worried about upgrading. I was trying to. I was looking at my notes. I'm like, yeah, so it's uh, overall weaker. So, but you could have missed out on the mole bone. Um, so. I think I might grab it. I think we can go to the next section. No more scrap metal, so I'll probably this will probably be one of those points where uh nothing to do there right now. It just get me in a heap of shit. Yeah, another workshop we gotta check. What heap of sh <laughs> what? We're not even Ah, eh, whatever. There's no one here. There's no guards, no nothing. Okay, wait, well let's go on to the next section. So yeah, I gotta remind myself that uh, in this game I need to save every time I go into uh, a new area, so I'm not a. Uh, so if I die, I don't like I don't have to resort to the auto save system. So let's go ahead and do that now, actually, just in case. Did I? Oh right, moles. Moly moly mole. Oh no, dogs in this case. You can't be, can't be, uh, dusted. Yeah, see how much more damage I'm doing now that I've actually upgraded my weapon? <laughs> I mean, the game is still hard. It, or, the expert mode is still semi-difficult, but, but with me, uh, but now that I've, uh, actually worried about upgrading my equipment. I probably should have done that when I went into the caves before, but I was trying to see if I could, um, if I could hold off doing that, so. But anyway, we'll hold off on that. Uh, I don't think I have to get, do anything in the power plant yet. That's for the in-game stuff anyway, so. Actually, I wonder if it'll let me actually go down in there. I guess it could. But I believe... Because, yeah, this is part of the... Ooh. Let's see. I don't think I'll be able to stealth them. I think they're all facing. Yeah, they're all facing each other, so. Yeah, they won't. Wait. I was about to say, who? who? <laughs> they weren't moving there for a second. Oh, okay. Good, a billion people attacking. Great. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay, I need to get to a better area. I can't see with Jack. Oh, good. Yeah, you don't have goggles on, so I can just wreck you if I want. Oh. Come on over, dude. Come on. There we go. Okay, you're done. 
Oh, no. Sanding your ass, yeah. Yeah, sanding or wounding is really good on, on you guys. Alright. Luckily, Innocence is doing a great job of keep making sure he's alive, so he takes the takes the uh, aggro. Nice. Alright. Alright, cloth and hardware. Nope. Eh, something. Something for now. This is why I want this. The one achievement, or one achievement, one feat, so I can actually get stuff. Or have a higher guarantee without saves coming. Let's see. Oh, another broken lighting. I can break, sell that or break it down. Break, break, break it down. I'll probably end up, like I said, I'll probably end up breaking it down depending on how things go, though. I think there's nothing else here for now. We do eventually have to go through the power plant, but right now it's it's a blocked off, so. Because our main objective is to get in the water and everything like that, so. Alright, what do we got here? Oh, bone, nice. Make up for that one I lost. Or used, I mean. It's not really lost if you're using it for a good cause. By that I mean keeping myself alive. Right, I was about to say, I thought there was a dog in the general area, but I don't think you can stealth this guy as much as I want to. No. Nope. Alright. Didn't think so. I'm trying to get around him, because that's how you hurt him. Wait, wait what? <laughs> or whatever. Man, I should really be building up Renegade so I can get that one ability where if you hit people in the back, you do more damage. There we go. Oh, did you knock out Lloyd? Or, why don't I keep calling him Lloyd? He's innocent. I have no idea. I really have no idea, viewers. I have no idea why I keep calling the kid Lloyd. Maybe I watched a video or something like that with a kid character similar to that and I just keep I keep thinking it's it's that's his name there we go you okay kid you ain't dead didn't lose any fingers or whatever I got some chemical compound from you now what is chemical compound that comes from a dog I don't think you want to know viewers I certainly don't Ew, what's that Sometimes I forget to actually, in some of these games, I kind of forget to actually look at the, at the um, uh, atmosphere of what's going on. You know what I mean? Like, sometimes you get kind of complacent because you play the game or or uh, um, play tested stuff, so you forget to actually look at the...
All right, let's try this one more time. See if we can get this ready to go. Man, these guys are. It's because I'm. I can't. I have to be careful because if I go too far back, I activate the next group. Oh right. Nope. Let's uh. Okay. Stealth. Let's just try. Let's try hitting the big guy again for that extra damage. Maybe it'll help me out a bit. That sucks so hard when, when they dodge, either dodge or uh, um, block your, your crits. That's where I blocked and they still hit me. Yeah, he's a. Oh, man. There we go. I'm just taking you out. Nope. Well, I wanted to do that, but. Uh... second because yeah there's that other group there so let's heal these guys yeah I did use a lot of bullets but hey it was it need to be done I know I found oh nice bone Plenty of grenades awesome probably use that in this next section even unfortunately on, on um uh extreme mode uh, certain weapons don't seem to do as much damage. They do damage, but not as much as you'd like, you know what I mean? Um, uh, because a lot of these guys have a, lot, a higher HP pool. Maybe if I go back in here, maybe little, my HP will go up a little faster. Boo! Hmm, I didn't know they respawned. Huh. Interesting. I wonder if that's because I, I loaded an old sa uh, loaded the save. Huh, I didn't think that's how that worked. I thought they stayed dead. That's weird. Hmm. Okay, well, learn something new every day. I noticed that, well, no, that was a different game. I was playing, never mind, so. All right, I guess we're, oh, right. Let's go ahead and save it. All right, let's pop up these other guys. Actually, I don't even think there's anyone here to, like, sneak attack. Yeah, it's a whole family, though. At least I don't have that big one. Those big ones are really the more annoying ones because they have more HP. At least with these guys, I can just possibly roll around them and actually hit them despite the... the dodging stuff all the time. Oh my god. Oh, that is so annoying. Look at that. Look at that. I mean, they're evading like I do, but they, they get that like, full immunity, it seems like. There we go. These guys for treasure, leather. All right. 
No items. Bone. Nice, getting some rare bone drops. I said bone is uh, bone is a little more difficult to get a hold of. At least at this point, of the game. Yeah, more bone. All right, well that, that that's gonna be there no matter what you do. So. All right. Yeah, a few more. I think there's like a couple more encounters in this place. All right, let's save it again. Hopefully, I didn't die a million times there. Hopefully, we'll heal up by the time we get to it. Okay. Looks like we got some moles fighting a dog there. Uh, can you guys keep fighting each other? No? Okay. Let's throw a grenade at you since we got on the debris. So. At least he'll semi help. Sort of. Because they'll be. I mean, we'll still have to fight the dog eventually, but they'll uh, fight each other first, so. killed the dog, huh? Okay, can you back off for just a moment? There we go. Yeah, the dog there helped out with that, so. Yeah, as you can see, the explosive does a little bit of damage in a short splash area. Um, did a decent amount of damage, but nothing crazy. But it's just a... I think it does slightly better damage than the gun. Well, depending on what, if, what feats or skills you unlocked or whatever, so... Not everything has to come up millhouse, I guess. Whoops, I actually didn't mean to make a new slot. It doesn't really matter. I can make it. I can make up to 34 more slots, so that's plenty for the rest of the camp game. So. All right. Hardware and bone for me, but none for you, Twix. Uh -oh. For the dog. Yeah, no chance to uh, stealth back. Again, so. Unfortunately, if he's a... Don't I have you on defend? Why are you actively attacking? I'm trying to get that crit action going on. Harder to do on a dog, because you, know, you have to attack him in the back. There we go. Okay. Nope, no items. Man. Yeah, some you win, some you lose some, so. Oh yeah, there's the drawing the water for that stuff, so. Okay, let's grab everything else before we head out, obviously. Scrap metal. Let's see if anything else pops up. I was about to say, one of these chests have got have something in it. Alloy and chemical compounds, all right. We'll be able to make stuff with alloy eventually, but not right now. It's kind of funny how they say it's a mushroom field. It doesn't really look like a mushroom field, you know what I mean? But anyway, yeah, we can go, um, go back the way we came. Or, sorry, we can go the other way to leave this place, so we don't actually have to go through um, back the way we came to fight those monsters again. However, I may actually want to go back and fight them just to get some extra experience. Um, yeah, let me go. Yeah, let me go. Let me do that really quick just because I want the extra experience and possible drops from those guys. So give me just a second. I'll be right back after I take care of those guys. All right, we took care of the moles there, and apparently the, the moles respawn in the rest of the place, too, as if you go back far enough, so it's a place to get extra items and uh, experience if you do that. And I know if you leave this place, uh, the uh, prisoners will respawn as well, so it's another way to get more items and stuff with that. I'm not going to do that, but uh, we've got the water here. We're going to take a nice drink of water, but before we head off to planning the Great Escape, there's a little bit more we got to do in the camp. 
What awaits us in the camp? Can we heal the dogs and help everyone with their troubles before we leave? Find out next time in the next episode of Mars Warlogs. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.